Hey everyone, Amel here. Let's see what's coming up on today's show. We go to Glasgow for Cop Watch, day one. A bat wins best bird in New Zealand. And a giant duck invades Santiago. Not really. But first, you know what I'm gonna say. Why don't you hit that subscribe button? Come on, there's no good reason. Day one of COP26 is done and dusted. And we heard some big things from some big names. We're talking David Attenborough, Greta, the Queen. And here's another big name for you, Kale with more. Outside, lots of protesters demanded climate action. Keep it in the ground, just keep it in the ground. Inside, world leaders talked about it. It's one minute to midnight on that doomsday clock and we need to act now. Yeah, it may sound like a quote from James Bond. But everyone seemed to agree. We need real action during this decade now. There's no more time to hang back. It's time to say enough. COP26 began with a word from the Queen. We are doing this not for ourselves but for our children and our children's children. And the climate rev up from David Attenborough. If working apart, we are a force powerful enough to destabilize our planet, surely working together, we are powerful enough to save it. Then world leaders got to work. India set a target of net zero emissions by 2070. Spain said they'll increase their climate funding while we pledged half a billion dollars to countries in the Pacific and Southeast Asia. Not everyone was happy with the announcements, including Greta. This COP26 is so far just like the previous COPs, and that has led us nowhere. But this is only day one of the two-week conference, so watch this climate space. 10,000 people have turned out to watch Australia's most famous horse race. The Melbourne Cup is often called the race that stops the nation. And this year, Melburnians actually got to dress up and go to see it in person. This year's winner was a New Zealand-born, Australian-trained mare called Very Elegant. Very Elegant wins! And she is a superstar and I'm so proud of her. Hear that? That's the sound of angry birds in New Zealand. Yep, in one of the biggest upsets in the animal kingdom this year, a bat won New Zealand's annual Bird of the Year competition. Yep, a bat. Not a bird, a bat. Wow, uh, this is a bit of a shock. Uh, thank you for the votes. So I wasn't expecting this because um, I'm not a bird. Yeah, after being added as a controversial surprise entry to this year's New Zealand Bird of the Year online poll, the Pekka Pekka long-tailed bat has had a surprise victory. They are about the size of your thumb and have a wingspan about the size of your hand. They weigh about as much as a couple of $2 coins. New Zealand only has two native land mammals, and they're both bats. Look, I just don't think it's fair to have a bat win bird of the year, just saying. Yeah, it's an unconventional choice, but the competition is all about raising awareness for native wildlife. And these tiny fluff balls need it. Yeah, I don't want to get emotional, but things have been tough. Pekka Pekka Torua are critically endangered. We don't even know how many of them are left. Um, there's so few of them out there. But this win could mean good things. We've really ruffled some feathers having them uh, in the competition this year. But the nice thing is every single uh, investment that we do to protect our natural environment does a good job at supporting all species. So really, it kind of doesn't matter who won. I don't know if I'd say that. Yeah, nah, uh, still a pretty big deal. That was great. Now it's time for some unreal animals. Literally, they're not real. They're made of things like charcoal and plastic and other stuff. Um, check it out. First, this unreal duck, which obviously isn't real, but is really, really big. This yellow guy, these eggs, and this robot are all part of an art exhibition in Chile's capital, Santiago. Imagine visiting a zoo where all of the animals are made of metal. It's the creation of two brothers in Iran who've combined their love of animals and their love of sculpture. Ehsan and Sohei started making things with scrap metal pieces in high school, and slowly that collection grew. Finally, to this guy from the past who has some warnings about our future. 
The seven metre long dinosaur in Bosnia is made of charcoal and it's based on the dinosaur that the UN used in a video warning people about the climate crisis. Alright coolies, that's all from us, but before you go, why don't you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our Unreal videos and we'll catch you tomorrow.